can I sit? Thanks. Oh, no, I just want to talk. Uh, anything. We can talk about anything. <sighs> what is there to talk about? Um, anything, really? How's, how's the work environment here? You know, I mean, I, I just got here, so, I mean, do you have anything you'd like to tell me? Like, anything? What am I doing here? I'm here to work. No, hey, hey, no, I, I, no, I, I get it, I get it. Um, I came back here because I like this place. Back then, when I had to leave, I, uh, I didn't, I mean, though it was exciting to dream of a new beginning, a new chapter. You know, I, I never really wanted to leave uh, th this place behind. I've always wanted to stay here with you. I, I promise you, it's I mean, it's not like that. We never even kept in touch. It's a coincidence that I'm here. Well, I don't, I don't know. I asked Jonathan whether he had any jobs to you know, introduce me to. He told me to, to, to come here and I, I, I passed the interview and I got assigned here. You know, if you didn't, I, I didn't know any, I didn't know that you were here. Okay, look, if you don't want to be my supervisor, that's fine. Okay. But if you ever change your mind, just let me know. And I'm sure the HR can deal with it. So, how have you been? You know, we haven't seen each other since uh, s since um, since since we broke up and we didn't really talk afterwards so I was just wondering how how are you doing <laughs> ouch hey um I'm just, I just want to know how you've been. I mean, I know we didn't necessarily end things on good terms, but did you hate me? You, you don't have to say it, actually. Right, right. That's not true, by the way. 
No, I just want you to know that is... No, don't. That is not true. I never said those things. I never said those things. I never said that. No. I never said any of those things. Please. I never said... You know, when you, um, first, uh, asked me about it, I didn't know what to say. I didn't leave you in the dark because I didn't love you. I never, that was not why I did it. I never told you that I had to go because I didn't know how to bring it up to you. You, you were my first, you, you were my first girlfriend. I've never had anyone else. I, I don't, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't understand. I didn't know what to do. I was afraid. I was scared. I didn't know how to bring it up to you. I mean, we we got along so well. We, you know, we had our night, our nice dates. You know, how was I supposed to suddenly just tell you, hey, you know, we won't be able to to, to go see movies together, or go grab dinner together now because because I have to go. I didn't know how to bring it up to you. I was scared and and I didn't know how to tell you. I I swear I was going to tell you eventually. You don't have to believe that if you don't want to. I was going to tell you. Look, I know, I know, I know, I know what I said, okay, just, just I, um, I couldn't tell you, I couldn't promise you that, what, because, how do I promise you that? I, I, I never, I didn't have a choice. We were still high schoolers. I, we were still kids. And I had to go. I, my parent, my dad had to go for work. You know that, yes? I had no choice, okay? And, and, and God knows, knows what's gonna happen. I don't know, it, I never, I couldn't promise you, I couldn't promise you anything, not because I couldn't continue to love you. That's not what it was. I am committed, I, I love you. I just don't think it was right for me in, in, in a position of such in, in a position where there are so many variables that affect my life path, I just didn't think it was right for me to just promise you, hey, we're going to be together forever. We'll meet up again one day. I don't know if that was ever possible. I don't know if that's something I should just, I should just say. Even if that's what you wanted to hear, I didn't want to promise you something that... I didn't want to make a promise I couldn't keep. That might not make a whole lot of sense to you, but... <laughs> Look, 
I, I know it was stupid. I know I probably should have said, hey, you know, I don't know what's ahead of us, but I'll do my best. And I had those intentions, Tr truly, you know? I didn't just want to break up. You know, I, I thought we could call and stuff, but with, with the time difference and hell, the the, the, the dreams and the goals we had were in, entirely different. Even if by chance we, we could have kept in touch back then, I didn't know if things would be the way they were when we were still together in person. And that and that scared me. I, I was I was scared. I was immature, I was childish, I was stupid, okay? I'm I'm a dumbass. Maybe that was selfish. Maybe that was selfish of me to say those things. But I just didn't feel like it was right to promise you to to make a promise that I I don't have anything to control over. I, I don't... I don't want to let you down. And... With the union stuff, I didn't know how busy I, I was going to get. I've never really understood I, I don't understand a lot of things and to be honest I still don't I was worried that <sighs> right right I am repeating myself <laughs> I'm sorry about back then I want you to know that I never stopped loving you, though. I mean, even when I got there, you know. This, this probably is really weird. Look, um... I never deleted any of the pictures we took together. I never deleted anything. I, I, to be honest, the, when you ran away crying that day, I already knew that I, uh, that I fucked up. But I, I was speechless. I didn't, my mind was completely blank. I didn't know what to do. You know, every now and then I would, um, I think back on those times we spent together and back at it very fondly. I never dated anyone while I was abroad, by the way. Not that you asked, but you know. I couldn't bring myself to, you know, even when I tried to move on, I, I tried to find someone new. I, I just couldn't. <laughs> Because they weren't you. I miss your smile. I miss your laugh. I miss... I miss everything. And, you know, I... I blamed myself a lot back then. 
so I'm sorry. I'm really, really, really sorry. But I, you know, I, I still love you, so. I know this is a lot to ask for me, and I'm, I'm, I mean, hell, we, we haven't even talked to each other for, for God knows how many years, but, um, would you, would you forgive me? Could we start again? I'm sorry, I guess, for appearing here. But, but I swear to you, this was never intentional. I never... I never wanted to hurt you. Um, yep, yeah. that's really all I wanted to say. Sorry for bothering you. Um, again, if you don't want me, then that's fine. I'll, well, we can talk to HR. Yeah, yeah, everything I said was true. I still love you. Oh, okay. Y yeah, I'm, I'm serious. Well, I mean, what do I have to gain by lying? I still love you very, very much. <laughs> really? Of course. Yeah, no, I'm I'm really sorry about before. So, you're the same. You still loved me since before. Like, okay, okay. So, does that mean you're willing to give it a go again? I, I think, you know, this time, I can say then we'll be okay we'll, we'll be together now I promise I won't leave you again and I promise I won't be such a dumbass and I will tell you when there's something wrong communication yeah C communication I'm really sorry for hugging you suddenly, but yeah, yeah, no, the, yeah, no, it, it, this feels as, as good as it did before. <laughs> Clean up a little bit. I cannot 
we go back to work looking like this. <laughs> wow. Um, would you like to go for something later? Like dinner or something? I'll treat you as um, a very, very big apology. Because I definitely owe you a lot. <laughs> Water breaks almost over. Good luck at work, babe. See you later. <laughs>